Hi, I'm James from Flawless Physio. I specialize in the treatment of knee, foot and ankle conditions and the creation of custom insoles. Today I'm going to talk you through the best insoles that I found on Amazon that you might find helpful if you're suffering from Baxter's nerve entrapment. So first up we have the Pro 2 Wellbeing insole. Uh, it's quite a soft, narrow insole, so it's likely to fit into most footwear. Uh, it's got a bit of a deep heel cup, so that helps stabilize the ankle. And it's got a low arch support, which is important for a Baxter's nerve entrapment, as if it's too high or begins too early, uh, it can press up into that medial aspect of the calcaneus where the, where the Baxter's nerve passes through. It's quite a thin insole. Uh, it's got a little bit of cushioning uh, underneath the heel and the forefoot, but as I say, is a good option if you want to wear it into a casual trainer or into a casual shoe. Next up, we've got Dr. Scholl's heavy duty support insole. Uh, you can see underneath it's got a cushioned heel support, a little bit of a more stable structure underneath the arch, but the arch height is quite low. The deep heel cup, again, its aim is to try and stabilize the ankle. Uh, minimal arch height on both sides, so you can see here on the medial arch. Uh, that means, again, it's less likely to push up into the neuroma, but it still can give some support. Uh, this is quite a wide insole, so it will work best inside a boot uh, or inside a trainer that's a wide fitting trainer. If you wear it inside a narrow shoe, what tends to happen is it, it bunches up uh, the medial arch and the outer aspect of the heel and that can push up into the site where the Baxter's nerve passes through your ankle and can irritate your symptoms. So as long as you wear them in a nice open shoe, uh, it can give you an extra bit of support help to give a bit more control to your foot without irritating your Baxter's nerve. In our clinic we carry out a biomechanical assessment, foot pressure plate analysis and 3D foot scanning. That helps us create the optimum type of insole to support your foot. Starting the support and ending the support in the correct positions so that it stabilizes your foot, helps to move direction of force away from the medial ankle to reduce the irritation underneath your Baxter's nerve and relieve your pain. However, I think both of these insoles that you can pick up off Amazon are a good option to begin with. Uh, I had to scroll through the most sold options for arch support, Baxter's nerve entrapment, uh, and general heel support, and these were the best two that I could find. So give them a try. I've left links in the description below. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section.